Is drinking and driving becoming the new trend? Is drinking under the influence now the new hot thing to do? Is that now what people call the new trend? Drinking and driving has become a very, very serious problem in our society, not only in America, but around the world. Ask yourself for one second, how many of us, how many of you, how many people do you know went to a party, went to a get together, went to something where they drank and thought it was okay to drive? One drink, two th drinks, wherever the case may be, I'm pretty sure we all know at least one person that drinks and drives. Maybe it's you, maybe it's me. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, drinking and driving is not okay because what we need to realize that as drivers, we're responsible for not only our lives and the people in our car, but everyone else out there. We're not just responsible for what we do or, or what someone else does. We're responsible for everybody when we go behind that wheel. Um, on an average, a drunk driver will, it will take 80 times before a drunk driver is even arrested. That means 80 times somebody is behind a wheel driving, unaware of the fact, or maybe they are aware of the fact, that they can seriously injure somebody. Think about it. 80 times you go behind the wheel and just because you aren't caught, just because you aren't arrested, just because somebody is telling you it's not right, doesn't mean it is. Because that one time you're arrested, that one time you're caught, that one time you crash someone, or you kill someone, or you injure someone because you, you, you're under the influence, that one time can be the end of your life. For m multiple reasons. Your license are revoked. You can go to jail for the rest of your life. You can take the life of someone's kid, someone's mother, someone's father. So think about it. Is it really worth the risk? Someone is injured by drunk driving every 120 seconds. 120 seconds, two minutes. Think about how short two minutes is. Think about going to your mailbox. Think about stepping outside and just being slammed across the street because someone did not think before they went behind that wheel. Two minutes, that all, that's all it takes, is two minutes. The blink of an eye, you can lose your child. The blink of an eye, you can lose your mom. There's this one incident when I was younger. My friends went out partying. One was driving, they were both under the influence. One was driving, one was sitting there in the passenger seat, not wearing their seatbelt, both under the influence, like I said. They crashed into a wall, the passenger flew out the window, and he died. I went to high school with them, and I lost my friend. The driver, who was also his friend, suffered so many lashbacks, suffered so many things, and everyone put the blame on him. But here's the thing, if you're a passenger in that car, if you are in that car, if you allow your friend to walk out and put that key in that initial, you're equally as responsible as the person behind the wheel, okay? You're equally as responsible for allowing somebody to drive under the influence, and that's not okay. And in our generation, in our society, among our youths, it's becoming a huge problem because now, Everybody likes to party. It's cool, you know? Everybody wants to party. Everybody wants to have a good time, and nobody's saying that that's wrong. But before you step in the car, before you put that key in that ignition, make sure you think about the lives that you can be putting in danger. Make sure you tell a friend. Take their keys away. It's not a good idea. Don't do this. Make them aware that it is not okay, because the most frequent thing among Anybody, when they put that key in that initiative, is I'm okay, I only had two drinks, I'm fine, I had an hour, it's good. No, the amount of alcohol that is in your body depends on your body weight. I'm not saying the thinnest person cannot take 
one drink and be okay. I'm not saying because you might be a little bit bigger, 10 drinks is okay because it's not. Drinking under the influence and driving and letting someone drive, it's not okay. It's all based on body weight, statistics. Look it up. There's nothing good that comes out of drunk driving. Just because you, t just because you make it home 80 times does not mean that the, 80, the 81st time you'll be there. Look out for yourself, for your peers, and for the people out there because drinking and driving is not okay. So the next time, the next time you had a drink, you had a beer, and you think that because you've waited an hour, it's okay, think about the people on the road. Think about your friend in that car and think about what can happen when they put that key in that ignition and they drive away. Because in the blink of an eye, in 120 seconds, somebody can lose their life.